Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to use POV++ to power up an all-in-one PC. So all-in-one PC is a monitor and all the hard drives configured inside the screen. It makes it real convenient and we're going to use POV technology, POV++, to power that the whole thing up, which make it more convenient. So POE technology is a method of transmitting both power and data through one single Ethernet cable. This will save us the time for looking for a power outlet when we set up this whole system. There are usually three common standards for the POE technology, which is POE, POE+, and POE++. POE and POE+, transmit power and data using half of the twist pairs of the Ethernet cable, while POE++ occupy all four pairs which gives maximum transmission for the Ethernet cable. So all-in-one computers are really popular these days. We can see them almost anywhere. And when we use PoE technology, we can use one Ethernet cable to power up and transmit data to this computer, which can make it really convenient and you can barely see a lot of, you know, those traditional desktops. We have so many wires connecting to it for the all-in-one computer using POE technology, it will be very clean and tidy. Although we have a problem that usually the all-in-one PCs are not POE enabled, so usually when we power up one an all-in-one computer, we use a power adapter here like this and provide the power. If we want to use POE technology, we're going to have to use a POE splitter. A POE splitter is a device that splits the power and the data from the Ethernet cable and send them separately to our terminal device, which is really handy and commonly used when we're dealing with uh, devices which not support PoE. So as PoE goes, we have Ethernet, our Ethernet router here, which will provide the data. And since it's not PoE, we're gonna use a 95 watts PoE injector to provide high power to the Ethernet cable for our all-in-one PC. And after it goes through the injector, it will become PoE signal. And after it transmit for like 100 meters right here, then the hump will reach this PoE splitter and it will split the power and data separately and then we can power up our computer here. So we have our procedure down now. Let me, let me show you guys how easy it is to set this whole thing up. So first of all, let's connect our router with our PoE injector. Another advantage, a benefit for PoE technology is even though we're dealing with power, the voltage is really low and safe for human contact, but I do not recommend you to touch it. Right here we're going to power our PoE injector with our power cord, and now you can see there are two ports on the PoE injector, Ethernet and Ethernet plus DC. The Ethernet means this is where the data goes, so now Everything coming out of this port is Ethernet and power. Data and power. So we're going to use this to represent 100 meters. This is, and then we connect one end to this port, which outputs PoE signals. And the other, you can see there is two ports as well here. There is LAN and PoE. The PoE will receive the PoE signal, and right here inside, it will split it to two streams to power and data and then this LAN port will output the data this power the power port right here is right here on the side and will output the power to our device now on this end we connect with PoE and right here let's make it tidy and stick it on our monitor our all-in-one PC and now we have power here then we're going to use a short patch cord, connect LAN to power right here. This should give our whole connection successful. So you can see how easy it is to connect all this together. And once this connect, you can see there's no more extra wires needed connecting out of this whole complex. So it's really easy, we're not complicated at all. And that's it. Well, thank you guys for watching today. If you guys have any more questions on how to connect this, you can leave them at the section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching today, and I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye.